Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today we're going to be talking about Temptation Island, Season 4, Episode 3. First, I'd like to thank all of those who have subscribed to my channel. Your subscription is deeply appreciated. So let's get started. It looks like we are continuing with the bonfire. So we know Edgar was very upset with Jillian and the way she talked about the promise ring that he'd given to her. And she sort of told Tommy that at any time she could just take the ring off. And then we have Lascelles who got to see Ashley talking to Mike. And Lascelles did not seem bothered at all. And then we have Hanya watching Ash talk about how she doesn't want an open relationship. And she says she's done. She's telling Taylor that she's over it. And Hanya looked quite bothered and was on the verge of tears. He tells Mark Wahlberg that he may not have been fully aware of how he feels about Ash. And he also said that he's feeling a little afraid. So all of that big talk about out of sight, out of mind, and oh, she's just a friend is starting to blow up in his face because now he's getting to watch Ash say that she's kind of tired of him and it's starting to hurt him just a little bit. And then we have Jillian still talking about how Edgar cheated on her. Uh, you know, this is getting old. If I'm not mistaken, they both said they cheated on each other. But for some reason, Jillian can't seem to get over the fact that Edgar cheated on her. So it sounds like she should have just called it quits instead of constantly rehashing and bringing up how Edgar has cheated on her. Like she's a total victim in this equation and she's not. So then the bonfire starts for the ladies. The ladies get to watch clips of their guys having fun in the villa. So Jillian gets to see Edgar talking to Marissa and he's telling Marissa that he feels like he's getting the runaround with Jillian and Jillian said that since Edgar cheated on her, things just haven't been the same. Sounds to me like Jillian should tell Edgar that it's over. Then we have Iris. She got to watch Luke getting a lap dance and she said that she feels that Luke will be more hurt watching her make a real connection with George than getting a lap dance from one of the ladies. And then we have Ashley watching Lascelles talking to Trace and Lascelles is telling Trace that she's exactly what he needs. And Ashley was quite bothered by those words. She wants to know how Trace could possibly have what he needs when she does not even know him. What does Trace know about meeting the needs of Lascelles. So Ashley was bothered. And then we have Ash watching Hanya, listening to him talk about how he's this out of sight, out of mind kind of person, watching him lick Cool Whip off of a girl, watching him take a girl into the shower. And then all the women got to watch all their guys, with the exception of Edgar. I don't think I saw Edgar getting in the shower. Get in the shower with some of the girls. And Ash said that she's not surprised at all. Uh, she said all she really wanted ever from Hanya is some consideration. And she says if he ever sees a girl that he wants to get with, all of a sudden she's been reduced to friendship status. And she's quite upset. And she does talk to Taylor and she tells him about the bonfire. And she said she regrets building the pillow wall. So then we have Iris talking to George and she told him, you know, that growth comes from moments of pain. So she's taking a really mature approach about everything. And then we have Ashley and Evan talking. They seem to be hitting it off. And Jillian and Thomas, uh, she's telling Thomas that she doesn't know what she wants. She's afraid to be alone and independent, but now that she's exploring, she's actually enjoying herself. So I'm thinking that Jillian is going to want to part ways with Edgar when all is said and done. And then we have Iris also saying sort of the same thing that Jillian said, which is that she's never had the opportunity to be happy on her own. So she's really taking advantage of the experience. Then we have Thomas and Ash on a date. And Jillian looks quite bothered because it seems like she's really into Tommy. And then Ashley's talking to Blake. They're having an easy conversation. And then we have the guys at the villa. 
Uh, Luke has a lot on his plate. He's exhausted. He has a lot of family issues and he's sort of talking to the girls about it. Lascelles is upset because he wants to be free to express himself with Trace, but he does not want to hurt Alexa. And he feels like everyone is going to get hurt when all is said and done. He's not certain of how he should be moving and he's trying to be as careful as possible uh, he doesn't want to hurt anyone, but he also wants the full experience. And I think he's coming to the realization that he's not going to be able to do both. So he's going to have to make a choice. And then we have Iris talking to George, and she does tell him that she feels that she needs a break uh, to get to know herself. Oh, and she also feels that hopping from one relationship to the next is not healthy. Uh, and George was totally understanding. He did not take it personal. And then we have Trace opening up to Lascelles. And she's sort of telling him that she was watching him with Alexa and she was feeling jealous. And she also said that she feels like she's fighting for something and she doesn't have a chance at winning. And she also wants to take some breathing room. So we have a lot of different things happening here. But what I found to be the most interesting is Hania's behavior this episode he has not really been doing anything or making any real connections with any of the women there i noticed that he's more of the bro he is the homie the ladies are talking to him about the other guys and he's sort of giving them advice and it seems like seeing ash with taylor is sort of putting him in panic mode and i think he wants to be on his best behavior for ash to prove to her that he can be the man that she wants him to be. I could be wrong, but I just have a sense that Hania is going to turn over a new leaf because he did not like what he saw with Ash and Taylor. And I think he sees that Ash is starting to form a relationship. It's very interesting that Hania didn't mind flirting with other women in front of Ash, but watching her on camera make a connection with another guy made him really uncomfortable. So I think this episode, he was pretty much on his best behavior. He didn't say anything off-putting. I didn't see him doing anything that was questionable. And I just wonder if this is too little too late because it just seems like Ash at this point is fed up and it's gonna be quite interesting to see how things unfold. I think that at the end, Hania is going to want to be with Ash but Ash may turn him down. It may be too little too late, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. That is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time, ta-ta.